G'day, I'm Jindiana Zones. You can call me Jindy for short. Good of you to join me on my latest adventure. This time I'm discovering the secrets of mass and matter. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. But when I say space, I don't mean stars and planets and ugly Martians. I mean the measurable three-dimensional area in which all matter exists. There are three examples of matter. They are solid, liquid, and as you can see here, gas. Yes, even air has mass. To look at this more in depth, let's look at this cup of tea. In front of us, we have two states that water can be found in. One, a liquid, as in the tea I'm going to drink, and two, the actual gas that's rising from the mug. If I was to put this mug in the freezer, this hot cup of tea would turn solid into a block of ice. La! Mmm! See, you wouldn't be able to do this with a hot cup of tea. Everything you see around you, be it the ice glaciers of New Zealand, the flowing waters of the River Nile, or the foggy winters of old London town, all have matter, and that matters a lot. Mass occupies space, be it a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Mass corresponds to how much of something there is. For example, guess how much tea is in the sack? That is mass, and all matter has mass. But it's easy to confuse mass and weight. Here's a box. It can be filled up with various matter, such as newspaper or books. Depending on the type of matter, the weight of the box will differ. A box full of crumpled newspaper is a lot lighter than a box of books. Just remember, weight is how heavy something is, while mass is how much of something there is. Just like my old mate Isaac Newton said simply, mass is the quantity of matter. And yes, even what we cannot see has matter. We'll look at this more by making a lever balance. Aha, the great god Bubulambara Tralis, otherwise known as the coat hanger. We're going to be using this to make a lever balance. As you can see, ah. the decrease in space has changed the mass of the balloon. There is less room in the balloon, and hence less matter. When we talk about the mass of solid objects, like a book or this apple, delicious, then we refer to the space it occupies as volume. Because it is a solid, it cannot fit into a space it does not fit. It's like putting an elephant inside a monkey. Ooh, ouch.
we can measure volume by placing these ice cubes in this beaker of water. Even though they are the same substance, the solid state of water, ice, displaces the liquid water and the level rises. A bigger ice cube containing more matter occupies more space and displaces more water in the beaker. We've seen already that air has matter, although we cannot see it. Air also occupies space, although it does not have a definite shape. Amazingly, the air in the bottle prevents the water flowing in. Aha! Uh -huh. You see, the tissue remains dry. The air inside the cup prevents the water getting in. Whew. Well, after all these experiments, I need a breath of fresh air. Come on! As you can see from these simple yet intriguing experiments, matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. We saw that the three different states of water, solid, liquid and gas, all occupy space differently. And in the deflating balloon experiment, we discovered that air actually has matter and mass. Though we tend to think of weight and mass as the same thing, they're in essence different. Weight is about how heavy something is, and mass is about how much of something there is in one place. And remember, we always measure a solid object's mass as volume. There's one more thing I want to share with you. Water is a natural resource. It's organic, and man cannot make it. Water is life, and this planet would not exist without it. H2O is precious and it must not be wasted. And whether it comes from the rivers, the ice caps of Antarctica, or from the sky above, we must always use water in any state wisely. Join me, Jindiana Zones, on another exciting scientific adventure. And remember, never squeeze an elephant into a monkey without the monkey's permission first. See you soon, adventurers.